Marvin. I'm one of the teachers here at Entry Program. When I turned 18 years old, my mother did not teach me how to cook food. I burn everything I cook. But my mother did teach me one thing, one very important thing when I turned 18 years old. And that was how to do my own taxes. She thought that was the most important thing in life. And so since I was 18 years old, I've been doing my own taxes for myself as well as for other newcomers in Winnipeg. See, my mother worked with the government. She was a newcomer like you, but she worked with the government of Manitoba for 30 years as an accountant. So today, I'm going to share some of those tips with you. So we're talking about money and taxes today. Let's start here. <coughs> There are three taxes you're going to see in Canada. The first one you'll see almost every day, it's called sales tax, and that's tax that you pay on things or services that you buy in Canada. So when you buy something at the store, you pay 5% to the government of Canada. And then you pay 8% to the government of Manitoba. These are called GST and PST. Property tax is different. When you buy a house or when you buy a condo, you have to pay property tax to the city of Winnipeg. Again, that money goes to the government of Winnipeg and it can be around $1,000, $2,000 a year. The main type of tax we're talking about today is different from these, and that's income tax. And income tax is tax on new money that you make. So anytime you make new money in your life, you're going to have to pay income tax. You're going to have to give some of that to the government. Now, Canada, in Canada, when you pay taxes, you have to do it. You have to voluntary, voluntarily pay your taxes to the government. The tax man will not go to your house and knock on your door and say, please pay your taxes now. You have to do it, and you decide when you do it. And... In Canada, you also have to voluntarily file or report your taxes to the government. You have to tell them how much money you make and how much taxes you owe. It's your job to report it. And I think 90% of the people in this room are going to make new money by getting a job. When you have a job, and when your company pays you at that job, you'll have to pay taxes on that money that you make. Some of you might own a business. You might start your own business. 
If you have a business, any money that you make, well, you have to pay tax on that too. Some people here, you have some money saved in a bank. And so you're going to get interest from the bank. And guess what? You have to pay tax on that interest here too. And pension, when you turn 65, when you get old, uh, old, you're going to get some money, maybe from the government or from your job. Well, you have to pay tax on that pension money as well. And best of all, you also have to pay income tax on any new money that you make around the world, any kind of world income that you have. That means if your company in your home country is paying you money still, even if it's going to a bank in your home country, you'll have to report that and pay taxes here in Canada on that money. <coughs> now, very important, remember, the government of Canada, their job is to find your money. So, if you're making money from your home country, don't try to hide from the government of Canada. But what if you make no money? What if you have no job? If I have no income, no new money coming in, do I still have to report my taxes to the government? What do you think? The answer, who needs to file? Everyone. Even if you have no income, no job, you still need to report or file your taxes to the government every year. Because if you have no income or no money, the government of Canada wants to help you by giving you some free money. So, what kind of free money is the government going to give us? This is the first kind. It's called the GST credit. And this free money is there to help families with little or no income. Now, the government will give this money to you every three months, and they will deposit it for you, and you can use it for whatever you want. But this money is income tested, which means the more money you make, if you have a job, the more money you make, the less credit you're going to receive from the government. And that's, that's to be fair, right? Because if, if you're making more money from a job, well, you, then you don't need help from the government. And also, it's only one credit per family. So if you have a husband or a wife, well, you'll have to fight for the money. Because having children is hard, the government wants to give you, parents, some more free money called the Canada Child Tax Benefit. So this money goes to parents, and it's to help parents and families, again, with low income or, or no income, And this free money is deposited every month into your bank account. Like the GST credit, again, the more money you make, the less credit you'll receive from the government. And again, this credit is one per family, and usually, usually, it goes to the mothers. Sorry, men. And if you have extra young children, under the age of six, oh, you can be even more happy. Why? Because the government is going to give you an extra $100 on top of that, for free. The universal child care benefit 
goes to families with children under the age of six. It's about $100 a month, and it's deposited with the previous Canada Child Tax Benefit. And this one is always going to be $100. It, it, it doesn't matter if you make high income or low income, it's always going to stay the same, 100 <laughs> And for both of these credits, the more children you have, the more money you'll receive. How do we get the free money? Very simple. To get any of this free money, you need to fill out an application form and mail that to the government. You can get the application form here online at cra.gc.ca or you can go to the office at 325 Broadway. You fill in the application, you wait about six to eight weeks and then you'll start getting free money. Easy. So, the first big question that you had was, how much tax do we pay in Canada? So, the lowest tax rate, you'll pay 15% if you're making under $43,000 to the government of Canada. Just like sales tax, we have two, right? One for Canada, one for province of Manitoba. So we have another tax to pay. On top of this, add this. So you have to pay an additional 10% to the government minimum, 10.8% to the province of Manitoba government. To make it simple and easy, I've added them together and combined, it looks like this. The lowest tax, if you're in the lowest bracket, making under $31,000, you will pay 25.8% of your income to taxes. Many people in Canada, and you too, you know, you know where our tax money goes. Right? You know that if you go to the hospital, if you're sick and you go to the hospital here in Manitoba, you go for free. And you know when you don't feel safe, you call 911 and someone will come to help you for free. And here in Manitoba, you know when you sleep, someone will clean your streets for free. And when your children, when they want to learn and go to school, they go to school for free. And even you, when you want to learn English, later on you can go to English schools in Canada for free. And even here, when you come to entry program, you come for free. But I know many of you watch the news, maybe you're thinking, what about corruption? This is from an organization called Transparency International, and they have a corruption perception index, which measures how much corruption in the country. Dark red colors, more per corruption. Lighter blue colors, less corruption. Do you see your country? <laughs> What color is your home country? <laughs> ah, yes, your country is blue, right? Your new home country. Even in Canada, there's good people and bad people, but Canada has one of the lowest corruption rates in terms of their tax money, because we can see where our tax money goes. And Canadian taxpayers are very famous, and so that means you too, Canadian taxpayers are very famous for watching where their money goes and being very angry if their money does not go to the right services. 
that's part of your new job in Canada. Now that you will pay taxes, you have to watch carefully. Where does your tax money go? What does the government use it for? And make sure it goes to the right things that you want. How do we pay? When you start working, your boss is going to give you a paper, a form. It's called a TD-1. This is what it looks like. And it's very simple to fill out. You just put in your name, your information, and then your employer can help you write down the correct numbers. Now, this form is very important. You fill it out, give it back to your employer, and your employer will keep one copy and send one to the Canada Revenue Agency. Once you've completed this form, your employer is going to take some money off of your paycheck every time you get paid. These are called deductions, and there are three main types of deductions that will be taken off of your paycheck. The first one, and most important, is income tax. And so that comes automatically from your paycheck. The other two are also very important. The pension plan in Canada and employment insurance will usually come off of your paycheck, every paycheck. Now, in Canada, your employer must show you how much money you get paid and how much deductions they take off for each of those things. Most employers will give you a paper that we call a pay stub, and you can see it very clearly shows you how much money you make and how much money you pay to income tax. <laughs> some employers in Winnipeg, some bad employers, they're going to offer not to take deductions, or they might try to pay you money under the table, what we call here in Canada. And so when they pay you under the table, it means that they're not taking deductions and they're not giving you a pay stub and you're not paying income tax. Never do this. It's never a good idea to get paid under the table. See, employers, for every one dollar that you pay from your deductions for CPP, your employer has to pay one dollar as well. And for every $1 you pay into EI, your employer has to pay $1.40. So employers that offer to pay you under the table are not trying to help you, they're trying to help themselves. How do you save money on tax was the second big question. Let me show you how to save money on tax. It's very easy. Please do this together with me. <clears throat> Please take a deep breath in. And take a deep breath out. Yes, congratulations. You've just saved. $11,138 in taxes. Congratulations. Good job. <laughs> Easy. See, this is a tax credit that the government gives to people that are living and breathing here in Canada. $11,138. Now, this money does not go into your bank account, no. It reduces your income for tax purposes. Let's do a very easy example together, very easy. Let's say my income every year, annually, is about $40,000 a year, let's say. On $40,000 a year, how much tax do I pay? Uh, 
Uh, this one, right? This one? No, no. Oh, oh, this one. <laughs> Sorry, oops. This one, right? Right. So I have to pay 27.75% of 40,000. 27.75% is about $11,000, I think. But with your tax credits, you subtract this amount from your income. Something like this. I still get paid this every year. I still get the 40,000, but when we calculate my taxes, I only do this, the 28,000. So how much tax do I pay on $28,000? It's this one, right? This one here? 28,000, this one, right? Oh, 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 this one. This one, I mean, yeah, this one, right. So, oh, now your taxes has gone down, right? Now it's 25.8%. And it's not 25.8 of this, it's 25.8 of this. I think 25.8% of 28,000 is about $7,400, something like that, yeah? So, do you want to pay 11,000 in taxes or do you want to pay 7,400? Easy, right? This one. So, to save money on your taxes in Canada, the secret is these, tax credits, getting more and more tax credits. If you have other questions about taxes, I'll be standing right here for the next five minutes. Feel free to come to me and ask me your questions together with your interpreter or alone, your choice. So come to me during the break time. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you have no questions, that's it. I'm done. Thank you.